mortgage counselor from the beginning to the end of the buying process. Wow, wow. To work wow. with you. Well, we, we, we definitely got to get back to, to, to what's going on with NACA. This is the first time I heard it. In fact, I've never heard of NACA. I didn't know what that was. Very few people that have. That was an NACP or there for a minute until I look at the, uh, the, the letters. Yeah. I say, you know, uh, you know, all hands up to the NACP. Let's go to um, uh, Cynthia and talk about this rally. Well, good afternoon, and thank you, Reverend Jackson, for having me once again. Um, I'm excited to be here to just um, share a little bit about what the National Liturgical Dance Network is doing as you know that the network was founded by Reverend Aisha Marable sure. and it's been in existence now for 10 years mm -hmm. we are actually celebrating our 10th anniversary in the year of 2008 Wow! but um, this year is um, I guess what you would say an exciting year because yes. we know what God is about to do yes. with the change that's upcoming sure and so we have been called we're taking God's mandate very seriously where it says in Second Chronicles um, 7 and 14, and it says, If my people who are called by my name yes. will humble themselves yes. and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, sure. then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their, their land. And God knows our land is in need of some healing. So we are calling all worshipers to come to the East Gate Worship Watch, which is going to be in Washington, D.C., and we're calling them from all over the country to come. Now, what, and what date is it? This is going to be on October 18th, 2008. On, on a Saturday? On a Saturday, and we're going to be worshiping from 12 to 5 p.m., and that means worship as prayer, worship through dance, worship through song. We're going to be there just to set the atmosphere and to pray that God's will will be done for this upcoming election. Many of us have been called, but a few are chosen. Oh, yes, yes. And um, we are, you know, prepared to go. We want to get up off of our, our bottoms and do something. Yes. And yes. we are called to and, pray. And, 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 and it's a good thing, it's a good thing, thing, yes, 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 to, 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 to put prayer into it. Because I tell you, we, we, uh, we're so close now, mm. you know, mm. to uh, right. pulling this thing off. And I just want the listening audience to, to know that the Reverend Zachariah from Church of Sat the Now Town Talker Talk Show, I just like like you to know it uh, that I I hope that that each and every one of you would vote for Obama, and the reason why I say it because I think that we are at a stage of, uh, mm. uh, at this time of, of this game called life that God somehow put him right in the position, and I I, I can't say that he that he would actually heal all the wounds, but he will heal a good many of them. That's right. And, 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 I, and I only, I, I know that my, my Republican brothers and sisters of all persuasion, I know, I know that you, you want to put a, a, a McCain and, and you want to put a, a Palin in office. I know you want to keep the Republican thing going. But I, I just want you to just, just, just think about, about the Reverend Zachariah. And, and I, I exclude myself from any woman I talk this way here and in truth that, uh, you know, it's been a long time coming. Mm. You know, when, when you see someone that come from your own race, as Obama does, and I know a lot of people say, it doesn't matter. No, it's not about race. But Pharaoh, if you, if you read you read the Bible and you read about Pharaoh, you read how Pharaoh destroyed many of the people. I can't tell you that Pharaoh has actually destroyed our lives, but he had his hand in on a lot of our thinking. And I'll tell you, 20 years ago, I would have never thought that one would get so close. So right now, this is a healing ground. And this is how I take it. Yeah, I take it as, yeah. as healing. I mean, you know, and I think, you know, the rest of the world is ready to work with, with Obama, too. You know, it's not just America. The whole world is getting yeah, ready to work yeah, with Obama. Right. And, you know, uh, 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 to Miss Palin, and, and I have... Uh, you know, oh, you know, hey, you're the governor of Alaska, and I can't take anything from that. I'm not the governor of my own house, you know what I mean, owned by the mortgage company. But I tell you, you know, um, I know that you that, that that you're high energy and that you really want to uh, uh, be vice president, and there's nothing wrong with that. But I tell you this right here, I believe, I believe it's time to go on home. I, I really do think that. I think that uh, Obama, 
I think Obama and his vice president can do the job. I think it's time to go on home, Ms. Palin. All right, uh, Reverend Branch. Well, you know, uh, that being said, my feelings is this. Um, being legal liaison up with the NAACP, I'm not going to tell anyone how to vote or who to vote for. But uh, my, my perspective is this. The Republican Party has this country in a mess. Just like a skunk can't change his stripes, neither can a zebra or, or a uh, leopard. But, right. and a snake is always going to be a snake. That's right. It's time for change. Yes, it is. The Republican Party has put this country in a state that it's in right now. Yes. And I don't know about you. I'm just, I'm tired. I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. Mm -hmm. And, I, and I, think, <laughs> I think the whole country as a whole, both uh, religious community as well as um, non-religious people, we're all sick and tired of being sick and tired. And we're right. tired of things being the way it's been. And I think it's time that we, we all stand up and ask for a change. It's time to make change. And yes. we're not going to get change. Uh, you, you know, you have, you have Republicans coming out talking about, oh, they're going to change. But we got to remember one thing. Republicans are going to still be Republicans. And Republicans stand for a certain thing. And the Republican Party has this country and the state that it's in right now. So... Do you really want to elect another Republican after the present administration has put us in the state that we're in? And, and let me say this right here as we, you know, uh, uh, getting close to the end of being black in America, um, uh, segment, being black, black in the United States of America, let me, let me correct that right there. Um, let me say this right here and, and in truth is that we, you know, we have to take a look at the old boy scene. The old boy syndrome, the cowboy thing of, of, of wrestling the world to the ground is over. The whole, you know, worlds years ago, countries years ago that was in barbaric states are building up now. They are rise, arriving, building big buildings, airplanes and things that make them, well, China is supposed to be trying to send a manned spacecraft to space, uh, to the moon soon. So the game has changed and America has to change. And I, I, I feel the attitudes a lot when I come through the airports and I have the Obama shirt and everything. I, I often say, I often look at my brothers of different persuasion and I look at them with sad in my eyes, almost a tear, you know, why are you, you know, holding up for, for Massa? Because Massa going to do you wrong mm -hmm. the same way he do me wrong. You understand right. me. Right. See, you in the house. That's all you are. That's all you are. You in the house. You know what we would call that right there. You, 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 your house slave. That's all you are. And the bottom line, they're cutting you down uh, left and right. So you need to be, as the words of Dr. Martin Luther King, he said, you know, when he was in jail in uh, Birmingham, when he was in jail, he said, after he talking to some of the guards, he said, well, you know, you need to be over here with us. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. after talking to them and hearing they, their stories and everything. It's time to get rid of the act. There's no need of acting. Come on over here, put this young man in office, mm -hmm. him and his family. I'll tell you, I only wish that you guys could have been there with me at the Democratic Convention. And I mean, to see that whole thing, uh, 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 Obama come out, coming out, and uh, his family, the kids, and all that, uh, I'll tell you, it was, it was fabulous. Uh, so the idea is this, I believe that it's just time to, to make a change and make a change with, with honesty in your heart because I tell you, you can fool us, but you can't fool God. Mm -hmm. That's right. Brenda, would you like to say anything? Yes, Rock Brown, Zachary Brown. We would have loved to have been there with you and see all of that. A companion chicken like I told you would have won. <laughs> I told you that before. <laughs> but nevertheless, you know, it is time for a change. Um, we, we, have, we have overcome one of the greatest hurdles that has um, hindered and hampered this country. That's right. And that's putting us on equal footing. 
And I think having a black man, as you said, African American, whichever term we want to use today, that's right. Okay, to be taken seriously as a, as a candidate for the highest office in history this land, has been made. You know, it is history being made, and it is something that a lot of us thought that we would not live to see. To see. Mm -hmm. I for right. one, for not we would not live to.